Welcome to this uh, narrated drawing. I recently uh, published an ASMR real-time video of this one. It's a bust of a man, a stone bust, and I'm starting with the eyes and I immediately start drawing tonal values as well. The eyes, the nose, drawing a little bit of the outline and I always like it when the eyes give a certain expression immediately. The mouth. I always like to be um, encouraged by some sort of expression to, to, to draw further. So, And I'm building this up with tonal values really. So I'm, I'm not even making really outlines, but I'm just adding uh, accentuations here and there. And now I do have some outlines. But it's more adding accentuations, expression to the face, and at the same time getting the tonal values right. Trying to get them <laughs> more, more complete. And there I put a very dark accentuation, accentuation in the eye. I think I've, I was wondering if it was a little bit too dark perhaps, but I don't like to erase too much. I just move on and work with that. <laughs> Getting some tonal values in that cheek. I already also did something of the background on the left, making it darker so his face lights up a bit. Adding some hairs. And yeah, something in the, ch in the shadow of his face. And I go from one part to the other, so I don't really have a disciplined or strict rule to do one thing first and the other. I roughly start with the eyes, then the nose, then the mouth, and from there on uh, the, the, the face as a whole. But then I go from one part to the other. At a certain point, the tonal values become important. So. I did also his cheeks and there. His mouth. And with everything I add, I try to look at the expression of what I am drawing, the expression of the face. So it's not just filling in where it should be dark and light, but also trying to uh, get the expression of the person that I am drawing in there. A sort of character. A characterization with those things. Sharpening the pencil is also important every now and then. I like to use a sharp pencil. So uh, and the kind of pencil uh, sharpener that I use with, with, a, with such a crank, it's, it's really a very cheap one that I have, two or three dollars from AliExpress, but I would recommend getting such a pencil sharpener. It saves you a lot of frustration. <laughs> Here I add some accentuation in the mouth. So at a certain point when you worked on a drawing like this, 
the definition gets lost a bit um, or it, it or you come at a point that you can add a sharper definition but uh, sometimes it needs that little sharpened definition and now I'm adding tonal values here and there so above the mouth I added some it's always important to have an idea of the whole when you are adding total values where, where is the face lightest where is it slightly darker than the lightest part here I'm accentuating the contour on the left side I think that's an important feature of this drawing in particular that contour the outline adding total values and I do not really have a dominant direction in which I add hatchings as you can see I'm left-handed so there is a slight bias so to speak uh, as you can see in the shadow the largest shadow of a face this direction is, is mostly what I do but I try not to make it too dominant so I change directions quite a lot to avoid a very dominant direction in hatching as you can see here on the left side as well when I have that diagonal I add a vertical hatching on top of that as well and uh, it's all very intuitive but that's the way I, I work in that respect adding some more definition in his clothing Here I made the shadow more uniform in tonal value, a bit darker. And I consider these as layers of hatching, so I add uh, tonal value on top of an already existent hatching until the tunnel value matches what I would like it to be more or less or what's aesthetically pleasing <laughs> again sharpening the pencil one of my favorite activities <laughs> during a drawing Here I almost made the shadow a bit too sharp, I think. So one has to watch out for that. So making it too sharp, you can overwork it. Not that it's really too sharp, but it's, it's a bit on the edge of that. So. Now it's getting a bit better again, <laughs> making this shadow a bit more uniform again, so yeah. Adding some detail in the nose, the whole of the nose, that dark area there. One tends to forget that. the the hole of the nose at, at a certain point by the end of the drawing I sometimes remember oh yeah <laughs> it should add some definition there some more accentuations in the hairs and these are the last things working on the background a bit that's like the overall composition uh, of the drawing uh, as it is on the paper and that's it so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video bye